Welcome to Tempark Center Price Training. The topic of this video is going to be ending an assignment with payable and billable data. When you end an assignment, there are two fields that are extremely important. One is the actual end date. The actual end date is telling Tempworks when are we going to stop paying and billing for this particular assignment. So um, any weeks after that week, we will not have a transaction to pay and bill. The other field that's very important is the status field. When an assignment ends, it's important to go in and indicate why has the assignment ended. Did this person do an excellent job? Did they do a good job? Did they do a poor job? All of these options are going to allow you to pay and bill this employee one final time. The exceptions to that are going to be customer canceled, deleted mistakenly entered, employee canceled, and no show, no call. Those four will prevent a transaction from being created and therefore you will not be able to pay, not be able to bill for this assignment. So if you have someone who pulls a no show, no call on, on the last day of work or the second day of work or after um, lunch. They come in, they work, they go to lunch, they don't come back. You'll want to indicate no show, no call, but has hours to be paid. Otherwise, no show, no call will prevent a transaction from being created. Same for employee cancel. The employee may start the job and then call and say, I, I cancel, I don't want to go back. In that case, you still have to pay them for what they did work. Therefore, you can indicate employee cancel, but it has hours to be paid, built. Otherwise, employee cancel will prevent a transaction from being created. Same with customer cancel. Customer cancels before the job starts, that's customer cancel. After the job starts, customer cancel, but it has hours to be paid and billed. Um, the fourth one that you want to avoid is the deleted mistakenly entered. Oops, I accidentally assigned the wrong person, didn't mean to do that. I can say deleted mistakenly entered and over in payroll and billing, it's as if they were never assigned to that job. So those are the four that you want to avoid. Customer canceled, delete mistakenly entered, employee canceled, and no show, no call. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed the video.